Hello and welcome to this week's McConnell Flyby. I'm Staff Sergeant Alex Farver. As boom operators like to say, it's all just ones and zeros. Of course, what they mean is with the boom simulator, you can fly a simulated mission and even if you crash and burn, you'd still walk out alive. Airman First Class Jared Vickers shows us the technology that makes this possible. It's just another day for a KC-135 boom operator. After the mission brief, he'll be fit for the skies, but this flight will never leave the ground. Back when instructor boom operator Glenn Stallard was in the Air Force, they didn't always have the chance to train before takeoff. Like when I was coming through, the first time I saw a fighter was, no kidding, when I had a Fargo, North Dakota F-16 behind me, and there you go, go to fuel that. The Boom Operator Weapon Systems Trainer puts the Boom Operator in the hot seat and gives them real-time practice with any and all types of planes and scenarios, saving the Air Force time and money. That's it. Bingo, bingo. You got it. Good job. Why those, uh, fuel we did it for years without one, but I think what the BOUS adds to it is it enhances the training and it actually makes better Boom Operators. Training airmen without ever leaving the ground. Airman First Class Jared Vickers, McConnell Air Force Base, Kansas. Technology is constantly growing and with that comes an increased threat of cyber attacks. The newest threat that's out there is called Heartbleed. It gives hackers access to your personal information. If you visited a site vulnerable to Heartbleed, be sure to change your password as soon as possible. For more information or tips on how to protect yourself, visit the link below. And that's your McConnell Flyby. I'm Staff Sergeant Alex Farber. <laughs>